Okay, now, Dick, this next proposal involves the eyes and ears of your world, the receptionist at Dick Clark Productions. You are referring to a young woman named Kim Gordy. Now, this all has a very happy ending, but a few months ago, here is a woman working for a company that produces this show, Will You Marry Me? But her own boyfriend, Julian, wouldn't propose. But Julian finally decided to surprise her on this show. Ah, but how do you surprise your receptionist who knows everything that's going on all the time? Yes, but of course you found the golden opportunity. Uh, one of our longtime producers, a fellow named Larry Klein, mm -hmm. is taking leave of the television world. He's going down to the Caribbean to own and operate a restaurant. So Larry, let us use him as the goat. We set up sort of a, a phony farewell party for him just to surprise Kim. Watch. Okay. Now, in order to pull off this next surprise, our crew began work at dawn. That's because this surprise involves our own receptionist at Dick Clark Productions. Morning, Dick Clark Productions. One moment. Now, while Kim is busily answering the phones, this box is being custom made for Julian's big surprise. Kim and I have dated for the last three years. We met at my sister's wedding. Uh, she went with a friend of hers. She wasn't invited, but uh, she decided to go with her. As our employees arrive, hardly anybody knows that this is not really a farewell party. As a matter of fact, only yesterday, Kim and two colleagues were rehearsing a special song for this get-together. One, two, three, to the right. Oh, wait. <laughs> And his heart still ticks. He's our guy. I realized I was in love with Kim about a month ago when I left town to do some work. And it really got me to thinking that I loved her and that I wanted to be with her. The guest of honor, as you probably know, has decided after 21 years to leave us. Thank God. <laughs> but would you take the seat of honor for the moment? We have some things planned for you that I know you're going to love every minute. He didn't want to do this. I'm not happy. Would you, would you fan the guest of honor, please? Oh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Pointless Sisters. OK, guys. But his butt is dicks. He's our guy. Kim does tend to be the life of the party whenever we're out together. And it's great with me because I am not. I, I don't try to be, and that's what makes it so great. We're going to miss his face. See you at AMAs. He's our guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The Pointless Sisters. But the big moment is finally here, and a very nervous Julian is ready to spring the big surprise. I don't think she's expecting a proposal. She kind of thinks that I'm not ready for that. She doesn't know that I feel differently. She'll probably scream and yell and maybe even start crying. I'm not sure. She'll just be completely shocked. Ladies and gentlemen, our senior producer, Mr. Al Schwartz. Al, where are you, sir? Now, Kim thinks Al is going to speak about Larry's new Hey Jose restaurant. First of all, I'm asking her to marry me, and second of all, it's going to be on something that's recorded in front of a bunch of people, so it's something that I'm really feeling nervous about. As Kim is listening to this speech, she has no idea she's about to become the center of attention. And then he rakes the beach. Kim, the surprise is on you. Uh -oh. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Julie, what are you doing? Come here, honey. What are you doing? Don't cry, honey. It's okay. This isn't a party for Larry. <laughs> No. <laughs> uh, I, I wanted to do something to make you realize how much I love you. Oh, God. Don't cry. 
you know, we've been together for a long time. And now I want us to just for you to know that I love you and I want you to be with me for the rest of our lives. So, Kim. I <laughs> Will you be, will you marry me? <laughs> This lady, everybody loves. And we've done hundreds of practical jokes and lots of marriage proposals. This was the toughest, because you know everything. <laughs> but we got you this time. You got me good. What did you, what did you think was inside the box? They told me it was Cindy Lauper. <laughs> <laughs> what a disappointment when he came out, I can tell. That day was hot. Like, what was it like cooped up inside that thing? I'll tell you, it was just, I was just sweating as could be, and I don't know if it was the heat or just nervous, but it was, it was quite hot. You certainly made a day of it. Thank you so much for putting this poor woman out of her misery. She was waiting and waiting. It was, it was a wonderful day for all of us. It much was. love. Thank you so much. Thank you. Best wishes to both of you.